Hello there everybody, I'm Austin Alex 99 and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing another awesome video where I'm going to be doing a part 2 to the I did science video that I made a month ago where today I will be doing a couple of these completely gross experiments. I did a few of these in the last video. Today I'm going to be doing a few more because there's 10 different experiments to do in these so I'm going to be doing the rest of them or at least some of them in this video so let's get started all right so step one to doing these experiments is of course to take this stuff out of the box here so let's do that and there we go that is everything. Here we've got all the same stuff from the last time, I hope, unless I lost another thing. Looking in here, we still have the stickers. And over here, we of course have our experimented guide, both in English and in French. We're going to be using the English one, though, because English, yeah. There's 10 bonus science experiments that you have to buy stuff for. You can't just use stuff in this box, which is weird. It says right on here, 20 easy science experiments. Gives you 10, the other you have to buy the rest. But I'll just throw that out of the way. Don't need that. Red sodium alginate, white sodium alginate solution. Random cup, we don't need that. The molds, we might need that, but who cares? Random bag, which has nothing in it. Baking soda, zinc, agar, agar powder. Husk powder, we have this bowl, which I never really washed out or did anything with, with uh, after the last experiment, so I still have this. Then we have this lid, which looks like from milk jug, but there's nothing here that needs a lid, so we can throw that out. And our stir stick, that's all the stuff that's in this, we can just throw the box over there. And next, we are going to be making a brain, and I think... That's what this mold is for right here. So basically, we're just gonna have to make this brain. It says we're gonna have to chill it for one hour. I'll just do it for 30 minutes because who gives a crap about what these scientists wrote in here? So, yeah, let's start with this experiment and then we'll do another one while this is in the fridge. And yeah. All right, so starting off the experiment here, let me just point you a bit downward so I can see the table. And so you don't have to look at my face. But you can see right down here, we've got stuff we need. So first is to put in water, and then agar agar powder and red sodium alginate. So let's see right here, three big scoops. I think that means three big squirts. And then we're gonna need our agar agar powder or agar 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 agar. Just gonna wanna get this open here. I don't think I have scissors anywhere around here, so I'm just gonna jab it with a pencil. Yeah, here we go. Pencil. Insert it right into there, hopefully. And that did nothing. Why do they gotta seal these so tight? I have a pokey stick. This'll work. Oh, it did. Don't worry, everybody. I have opened the agar, agar powder. Okay, so let's just see what's squirt out. Okay, it's, it's going. So two big scoops. That's gotta be a lot of this stuff. So I wanna put in a big amount. Looks like salt. I don't think this is edible though, so do not eat it. And I hope you're not even thinking about eating it, because that's kind of weird. Okay, so... Pretty sure we need more of the red sodium alginate to kind of balance it out. Looks like we have more of this agar agar powder than the red sodium alginate, so we're just going to put a tiny bit more of this in. And then I'll bring this upstairs, put some water in, and we should be in business.
So hopefully you enjoyed that little clip of me putting the thingy in the microwave and in the fridge and now she's gonna cool we do this next experiment which is making glowing worms. So I don't have a bowl, I might need to get that. So first we are going to need one big scoop of zinc sulfad. Sulfad. And we're gonna need to put it into a cup and let it sit under a lamp. I have a light bulb right there. That'll work. If it doesn't, well, we have a problem. Then we're just gonna mix this in with 100 milliliters of water. That is calcium chloride again. Oh yeah, this thing that was open, so this bag right here. After that, we're white sodium alginate. We need this. Okay, so we're gonna mix this and these together in the end into a bottle and then squirt out a long stream of it. So if I'm thinking about this correctly, we're supposed to use one of these bottles? So here, let's just take it out. It's all dyed green, and now my hands are being dyed green. Um, no, it's not this. Well, my fingers are just gonna be dyed green now, I guess. Guess I'm gonna become the Grinch, the Hulk, the Shrek. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but we'll figure it out. So here's another montage of me making this. So now continuing on, I should move this lamp out of the way. So what I use to heat up my powder in. These worms should glow in the dark, I believe, I hope. So basically we take this syringe right here, it's filled up with all this liquidy junk right here, and we pour it into here where then it should make worms, which I guess we'll try. So here, I'll do a couple different squirts with this syringe. Yeah, it did something at least. Another big suck. That did not suck up anything. Come on, give me a good suck. Okay, that was better. And squirt. There. Now we just let this sit for I think like 30 seconds, but let's just try turn off the lights in here to see what's gonna happen. Okay, so let's check up on our little friends right here. And they're barely glowing. What the heck? So let me show you, look. This thing right here. See that? Some of the powder stayed in there, it's glowing. These, nothing's glowing, you can't see anything. It's so dark in here, I'm gonna trip over something. But that was a huge failure. It didn't glow. All right. There we go. We tried it, it didn't work. National Geographic lied to me once again. All right, so it's been about 20 minutes since we checked on this last experiment or did or whatever. And I went back to grab the brain, and I actually wanted to only do it for about 30 minutes, but then it wasn't really ready, so I left it in for exactly 55 minutes, and I think it's somewhat done. It's still a bit liquidy on the top, but it's kind of like jello consistency in the middle, so success. But I don't really want or know what to do. I'm supposed to dissect it, but instead we're just going to play with it, so... I'm pretty sure I can just pop this onto my hand. Here, just let me drain that liquidy stuff on top, if there is any, into this. And then the rest of it should just be a big glob we're able to play with. Okay, okay. So, it didn't really turn out well. It feels weird and just doesn't look good. Got to rinse off my hands in there. And I seriously gotta go wash my hands off now, and I have no idea what I did wrong. I did exactly what it told me to do. So today, after doing the experiment, I can successfully say, National Geographic, you ripped me off again. Thank you. Whoever got this for me for my birthday, I think it was my aunt, auntie, and uncle, they got scammed out of like $20.
because of you, National Geographic. So honestly, in conclusion for this video, do not buy any of National Geographic's products. Do not support them. They make crappy toys for children. I'll see you next time. I'm Alex. Goodbye.